at, while we in China. Okay. But same time, though, it's like Braun has made other comments about causes that he cared about as well. And this is not saying LeBron did not care about that cause. I don't think he didn't care about the cause. I just think that the way he said it made it sound like a little bit selfish. It's mm-hmm. like some of the things that you have said is probably have probably inconvenienced others, as you should have said them. Mm-hmm. And you were speaking on the behalf of people and things that you cared about that were like very dear to your heart. And you should say that. I mean, but, even the Trayvon Martin thing. Yeah, so, no, it's, it's like you 100% should say that. But again, like you like... It's a sticky situation. It, it, it's, it's like, I get them, but on the same token, it's like I understand why people are scrutinizing them. Now, I do feel like some people are going too far. Yeah. I think some people were waiting for a chance to come at LeBron about something. I just think nah, LeBron maybe... Well, nobody waiting nah, for a chance no, to come no, LeBron no, 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 no. LeBron has been Teflon, Somebody, and guess what? Just like everybody else that screw up, and when you screw up, you got to pay the price. And that's what he did. He put his foot in his mouth when he could have just not said anything. For you to, he had to say how that. you going to call somebody uneducated about something? You're not even he educated in what something. they said. He had to. He no, had he to did no, he didn't. No, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. He did have to say No, he didn't. No, he didn't. He could have had the same color and Greg Popovich had, which they is. They didn't go to China. They weren't, like, like none of them were going okay, to China. Okay, it doesn't matter. Like, bro, like, listen. If listen, y'all listen, ask listen, me listen. about China, if I'm LeBron, guess what? I had a great day in China. It's a. It, it's unfortunate that there are things in the news that we couldn't that we cannot control, but that is but that is, has nothing to do with the players. We went over there to play a game, we played the game. Next question. End of story. No, there's no, no there's no for no in, in, in any sense. I'm not trying to get into a word or a sentence back and forth with Daryl Morey. Well, you are. Not what do you mean? No, you are. No, no. If you weren't, you, you should just be quiet. I just be quiet. I, I, just be quiet not, about no, it. No, 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 no. Just be quiet no, about it. That's no. why them fans over there in China burning the man jersey. No, just be quiet about no, it. No, 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 no. Clay no. damn near like Clay got his shoe deal on halt because of that listen, shit. Listen, I ain't heard Clay listen, Thompson say shit. Listen, but listen, listen. Clay Thompson isn't the voice that LeBron James is. Any issue, stop. Come on, man. Stop. Stop. Clay's stop. a face in China. If he says stop. something listen, negative about listen, all of that, listen, it's a big bro, deal. Stop. Cannot, listen. Clay isn't the face that LeBron James is. If LeBron James. Being with face of the league and with one of the faces of the league, especially when you when you talk about voices. Now you want to say you're not the best player in the league anymore, that's fine. But if you talk about voices, LeBron James is still one of the boys, the most recognizable voices in NBA history. So when something happens on the magnitude of this, LeBron has to say something. No, he doesn't. Especially listen. No, he does not. Listen, listen, listen. Especially when his team is over there in China, they cut him off from the media, so he hasn't been able. So you haven't even heard from LeBron James for like two weeks. Cause they cut him off in the media, so you ain't heard nothing. No media was allowed. You don't know what's going on. You don't know what the team going through. You don't know nothing. Now, granted, he may have been extremely, extremely frustrating. We don't know. It might have been dangerous. It might have been, you know, he felt at harm, at risk. We don't know. But, 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 listen, it's gonna sound. Who's harming LeBron James? You don't know. Who's harming LeBron? James? You don't know. You don't know. Nobody's harming LeBron James. Listen, the f- listen. Come on, bro. You don't. You you you. Do you think China trying to start a war? No. Okay then. Then but nobody's listen. harming LeBron. But listen, you harm LeBron. You harm any American citizen. This is what I'm you saying, already though. know Trump ready to start some bullshit. That's what I'm saying though. Listen, stop that, Here, man. Look, Ain't look. nobody harming LeBron. LeBron could damn near cause a nuclear war if something happened to that I understand, man. but listen. No, bro. no, I'm dead ass. Listen, LeBron James is valuable enough to start a fucking nuclear holocaust. So don't that. sit up here and act like you don't you so fucking worried for your health and safety. That's bullshit. Listen, that's bullshit. Listen. He could have just shut up. No. And I said a goddamn Listen. thing about something that he was not educated on. You can't call somebody out when you're not even educated on it either. I disagree with that. What? No, I what? don't disagree with. Listen, listen, I don't disagree with that. What I'm saying that I disagree with is you don't know how that man felt though. And now, granted, like I said in my tweet on Twitter, I said it sounds very selfish of you to say what you said because you have probably inconvenienced others with your statements. So it sounds very selfish of you to say what you have said, especially when you have taken a stance about certain issues that you have taken a stance on. It sounds very selfish of him to say what he has said. But on one hand, I do feel him. I feel everybody in this whole China NBA situation. It's just a lot of difference of agreements and opinions. I understand why Daryl Moore think he should have said that. Daryl Moore was fighting, was standing he up. He didn't say anything. But he listen, tweeted a picture. But look, the picture itself shows a level of solitude that basically says, like, yo, I'm standing for this cause. 
Granted, could he have done that later on? Yes, he could. But I understand no, why Derek. But listen, no, but listen again. That. I understand why Derek Moy felt that he had to say something right now. I understand why China feels away. I understand why Adam Silver said what he said. I understand why people say, you know what? I don't know enough about this. I understand why LeBron said what he said after going over to China for a week. It's just a lot of difference of opinions, but I do agree that Braun should have. I think he had to say something. No, he because, didn't. listen, no. To me, Braun had to say something because Braun is LeBron and he had been over in the China for a week. So I think LeBron has to say something. No, he but, doesn't. but, but, but. That's food. But, That's again. That's legit food. But, again. That's 100% food. No, but I do think LeBron should have kept his, should have said his statements a different way and picked his words a little bit better because I don't think he picked his words the best and the way he came off sounded a little bit selfish especially knowing the cause that he stood for but again I do understand it's not the way he came off everything he meant and everything he said was selfish it was but it I, was when you can just not say anything you gotta say something you don't though. have to involve see, yourself in politics and in politics of another country He's the, you mad at him for saying something you ask, you go and literally throw a whole canister of gasoline on the thing but listen that goes back to the thing what? but listen bro that goes back to the thing as well as like some people would say you don't have to say you, you, you don't have to involve yourself in politics in general again he but, it, 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 an american issue is one thing a chinese but now issue you go is back to thing. what i said two episodes ago about about how it's not a global issue it you is said, a global issue no but it wait, is a global you issue just said he don't have to speak on it yes, because he don't have to speak on yes, it yes he does he's not educated he tell he's saying he got this guy wasn't educated to speak on it so I don't get he's why global, he would speak on it. He's a global. And figure. I don't get why he would he's tweet a, what he question, tweeted. Question, when question. I don't even think he knew that the man tweeted a picture. Question, question. Out of top 100 people in the world, in the world, would you say LeBron James is one of them? In the world, 100 people doing what? Just 100 like notable figures in the world. We can say LeBron James is 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 one of them or close to being one of them. Yeah, but you. So you stop. No, no. Stop, wait a minute. Stop, wait a minute. Wait stop. a minute. But you sided with the Chinese government that's being accused of a lot of bad shit when you don't have to say anything. I don't think he was. When you don't have to say anything. Listen, no, I don't think he was. When you don't have to say one word. I don't think you have to say one word other than we went there to play a game. We played the game. I don't think he I was enjoyed siding, the game. It's unfortunate that he got hurt. Moving on. Next we question. Disagree. I don't think he was siding with the Chinese government. I think that he, he was sided saying, with his pocket, listen, which re- which has a huge that, chunk of change in China. But listen, if the I NBA lose seventeen percent of the revenue, guess how much LeBron James revenue is in China? Seventeen percent of his revenue probably is himself. over there too. I think he was sided with himself, not China. Exactly. He was so with he, so guess what? Again, he, he has off, every right to be called a hypocrite. Like I that's said, what he, he was came, acting like a goddamn like I hypocrite. Said, he came a off. Hypocrite. Listen, like I said, he came off very selfish. Yes, he did. He came off selfish. He did. He came off kind of selfish, but. I do understand why he said what he said from the direction of from knowing what he went through, knowing from being silenced for a week. I understand why he said what he said, but same time he could have picked his words better and he deserves some criticism because it came off very selfish. But I think some of the articles people are writing if about. If he was him, that big and bad, he would have did that shit while he was in China. But he didn't he do that shit while he was in China. Why not? He couldn't get to the media. He's fucking LeBron James. He couldn't get to the media. He's LeBron James, man. You think he couldn't get a fucking statement out? Like this man was held hostage in a hotel I mean, or something could, like that. But, but stop he it. He could maybe write a letter. Sure, but you want the statement to be presented the way you want it to be presented. He got a publicist. What, you going to bring cameras and shoot the whole thing over there? G, come on, bro. There are episodes of The Jump in China, bro. What are you talking but about? But in that situation, look, man. It might he been- waited purposefully because he wanted to wait until he was in the clear. So he got back over here before he was. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I want too. Money. Yeah. Right, Let me wait till I get back to America. Make sure yeah, I'm safe. Good. Make sure I'm over there and make a statement. If you so, if you so big and bad and about all of that, then you shouldn't did it. Especially, I with that. especially if you go, especially with if you gonna say he shouldn't have said nothing. I disagree with that. Yeah, because you shouldn't have said nothing. Who? LeBron. He should know. He had to say something. No, he didn't. He just no, shouldn't he have not. said what he said. He but he had to say something. He could have easily. He could have easily not said anything, he had to say and 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 he none of this something. and none of this would have been had, a topic. Look, again, but he took it upon himself to do what he always does, which is interject himself into politics. But when you do that, you got to stand behind the wrath of that, and you also got to stand with people calling you a hypocrite because it's very, 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 extremely, extremely, extremely hypocritical. And if you don't know the issues that are currently going on in there, and if you're telling me that you um, 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 side with democracy, which is what all of these protests and all this stuff are about. Then you can't tell me that that you telling GMs to shut up. Now, if he would have just said, "I think that he shouldn't have spoken without thinking about how his comments could have affected the business," Again. and no, 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 if he would have just said that and left it at that, 
that's a decent comment. That's one way, no way, or another. That is just saying that what he said he affected the Yes. But he, but he added all said, of the other personal Listen, opinion on it. When he's something. uneducated he enough had to, to say speak something, on it. he just should have picked his no, words much have. better. No, he shouldn't have. He had, and like I told you, and like better. I told you, just like the president um, 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 reportedly said and tweeted that anybody that's trying to split the government will be crushed into powder and bones. I told you a couple, uh, or even it was last week. I'm like, yo, we don't know what could be what we could be on the hands of. As I, as I mentioned, we could be on the hands of a, of a Chinese civil war. So LeBron shouldn't be trying to interject him into shit that ain't got nothing to do with him. But same time, if though, Trump, if the president of the United States is saying y'all deal with that, I'm not gonna deal with it. LeBron, what makes you think you but here's, but listen, people? But here's you the thing: people with the president say, "Yo, I'm out of this." Here's his thing: the guy who run the country is like, "Yo, y'all on y'all." But here's that. his thing: but look, you think like, "Yo, let me go and let me say my GM look, should have just real quick uh, uh, kept his opinion to himself, and I'm trying to get a battle words real quick." But he should have spoke differently. Like you, don't, hey, come real on, quick, man. look. And that's exactly why he said what he said. The government, Trump don't even want to get involved with this. So why would you yourself go get involved with this when you know we have to go over there? But again. No, no. Trump made his comments after the Daryl Morey comment. Exactly. When he called Steve Kerr a, exactly. a when he called Exactly. Steve... So Braun said, yo, why would you go over there and do this? Daryl Morey's comments were before all of that. That's the issue. Like, why are you commenting on a non-American issue? When because you know it's that going we have on right now, LeBron. The and same look, way if LeBron, the same way if, if, Trayvon, if Trayvon Martin would have got that's shot the, and LeBron didn't exactly say nothing, thing and saying. the whole world was like, that's why are you not saying, saying all this stuff? Okay, then, I don't want to hear that. So it's so very LeBron, selfish of him to be say this. No, no, you, you don't be quiet. You can't be quiet. You have to say something. No, you can't. He is LeBron James. You just came from China. You can say, I don't live in China, so I can't speak Chinese. You can't. No, he can't say yeah. He has to say yes, something. He, he has to say something. On, he just shouldn't have said what he Come said. On, man. He should have Come picked on, his man. words much better. No, no. He should have said, it's not my place to speak on it because I don't live there and leave it alone. The no. same thing Steve Kerr said. Period. No. No. Period. No. Period. No. Steve Kerr and Greg Popovich made the smart statements about it. And that was, I don't live over there. I don't know what the politics of that government or everything that's involved in that. So I'm not going to speak on it. LeBron could have did that but and we would not be talking the about The Warriors this right and Greg Popovich weren't over in China and then you come off in the media. It, do, it does it's not matter. I ain't heard. I look, 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 I ain't, I ain't heard the third eye bro himself. Shout out to Kyrie. I ain't heard the third eye bro himself come out and say nothing about it. Yes. So the third eye bro himself ain't going to come out and say nothing about it. Why are you speaking on it, bro? What if he does. Yeah, of course, because LeBron will open up the floodgates. Guess what? The NBA is probably like, God damn, LeBron. What is wrong with you, bro? He had to say something. I feel you trying to save revenue, but we got to protect what's over here and what's over there. And Daryl Morey might have put them in a tough situation, but guess what? This is bigger than basketball. And LeBron is the main person that loves to talk about, this is bigger than basketball. This is bigger than money. This is about people. This is about blah, 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 blah. I ain't seeing that right now. I'm seeing this is about my checkbook. And if that's what it's about, fine. But don't sit up here and call this man out, and then you be like a supreme hypocrite. You know, so he's being a supreme hypocrite right now. He's being a supreme, he's being a supreme hypocrite right now. He's being he's, he's being extremely hypocritical sounds, right no. now, and he's being a politician. Where if the politicians are gonna stay out of it, you should stay out. I would just say that he sounds very selfish. Um, again, like again, like I tweeted again, like I tweeted on Twitter. I don't, I don't care too much about it. I'm not gonna like completely like throw every like throw the shovel and throw the gravel down on the man. I think that he cares about what's going on. I think that's why he spoke on it. But again, I think that he should have probably picked his words a little bit better in that situation, knowing what he was dealing with because of the way he came off. He just came off very selfish, especially when he's been the one who for years has a grant. Not do not granted. Do I agree with most of his causes that he's put up for? Yes, I do. Me being a black man, yes, I do. But again, to some people, he inconvenienced them as well. So you can't get mad at somebody else who inconvenienced you to speak on something that was dear to their heart. And he just came off a little bit selfish. Now, granted, do I get his frustrations? Yes, LeBron I do. LeBron did I think he a lot came of people, off, too. A lot of people that's That's protesting. exactly what I just said. He's inconvenienced people, too. So, again, it's like you came off extremely, extremely selfish. Now, do I understand his frustrations? 100%. You said that when I had to go over to China and deal with that. You said that I had to go over to China, and you put me in the whole situation. I don't know what could happen. Gee, Harden was in a situation. Russ was in a situation. They went to Japan. Huh? They went to Japan. They left him to Japan. They went in China. After that, the next team that came over was the Lakers and the Nets. And then AD get a sprain, so it's like, look. No, he tweeted that before the preseason, though. That's what I'm saying, no, bro. No, he didn't. 
They played those games in China, and I think he tweeted that night. And then the next game that they played was in Japan, if I'm not mistaken. I'm about 90% sure of that. The next game they played was in Japan. So they were gone. The next, pre the next people that were coming was the Lakers and the Nets. So you said that, and then you, and then you inconvenienced us. Or it became a real issue two, three days later when the Rockets was about to get up out of there. Because they was overpaying the things on, like, the uh, the uh, gyms a week ago. And then you sent Braun over there and them after all of that. So I understand LeBron's frustrations. But still, he should have said it differently than the way he said it. Because the way he said it, he came off. When did the preseason start? Uh, the 30th. September 30th. Okay. He tweeted it like I think it was the... Yeah, the... Seven. Yeah, uh, I, I mean, think, I mean, no, I mean, no. I think he tweeted the fifth. Yeah, I think the Rockets were about done with China by the time that happened, or by the time it really blew up, it was three days later, and they were leaving. I mean, it kind of blew up immediately, but I mean, I mean it blew up immediately, but not to the point where they were like. I it, feel you, but, it took like but even with that being said, while those guys were in Japan, they could have said something, but they chose to just not say anything. The team chose to be like, "Don't say anything." No, anymore. actually, no. They got asked, like they like um, PR person like shut it down. Good, completely. that's brilliant, brilliant. But again, people was complaining. Brilliant. But look, you have people on the internet complaining about that. It's like, oh, like you guys say players don't have muzzle. Muzzles, muzzles over their mouths. Look at what happened. Good. That's nah, bro. Braun got to say something. The Rockets something. played on the 30th. Braun got to say something. The Rockets played the first game in preseason. I know. I watched it. Yeah. Braun got to say something. Like in that situation, LeBron James no, has to doesn't. say something. No, he doesn't. Especially not. when. No, he does not. It, that's, that's, a, that's, that's weak. Especially no, when, look, not. the reason why it's such a big story is because it's not like the Nets said it. Like, or it's not like somebody from the Miami Heat said it. The team that has the direct relationship with China, which is the Rockets. They have Chinese New Year jerseys that they wear every single year. So I can only imagine the Rockets are probably the most famous NBA team in China, especially because Yao Ming said that. The GM of that team decided to get on the line and tweet this. That's why it's such, such a big deal. Bro. The, the worst part about it is that he clears it up and makes it even worse. He says, could have waited a week to send it. Yeah, could you have waited a week to protest Trayvon Martin? Or, or, I agree. Or, this is the way he came off selfish. Or, um, or, this is the way he or, came off selfish. Or Sandra Brown. I'm, I'm this sorry, is the way he came off Sandra Brown. Yeah, yeah, like, uh, um, 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 all of these people that have been murdered by the cops that you this stand up for, came, I can't agree with that. Is, listen, That's hypocritical. This is the way he came off selfish. It's extremely selfish. hypocritical, bro. This, I'm sorry. Again, this, yeah. again, this is the way he came off selfish. Again, I do think LeBron James had to make a statement. There was no way we could go into the regular season. I'm not discussing the substance. Others can talk about that. Yes, you are. Real quick. You are. Listen, you're, you're very clearly discussing the substance of what he tweeted because you said that he shouldn't have tweeted it. Because if you meant it, okay. How, how are you not discussing the substance of something if you're saying that it should never happen? No. No, I'm asking you. How are he you not just, He just said that he could have waited a while to say that. So how do you not know the substance of it if he couldn't have waited a while to say it? Again, I think you should have picked his words better. No, exactly. I think that's, you should have picked his words better. But that is why no, you do not say anything. If you got to make a statement, you got to make a statement. If you're not going to make a statement, you gotta keep it to yourself, bro. You got to say something. Keep LeBron it to yourself, LeBron James being the LeBron that he is in that situation, especially with the situation they put him in, he has to make a statement. He has to. There's no way we can go another week without LeBron making a statement. Mm. He got to make a statement. He just should have said what he said better. But LeBron got to make a statement. So shout out to him for making a statement, but not shout out to him because you came off selfish. So yeah. you got to take whatever sword you got to you got to fall on that sword because the way you said what you said came off a little bit selfish, especially when you being the again like you said before the show. He's like Captain America for black people with like a lot of issues. Yeah, he is. So it's like you coming off like that. That's why you know people were so. That's why the movie when. That's why Iron Man felt the way he felt about Cap not telling them that people died. Yeah, I mean, because like, because you supposed to be all righteous. So when somebody else say something, even if it inconveniences you, you gotta say something. Or like, you gotta deal with that. Take that L. And LeBron, because he inconvenienced him, just came off a little bit selfish. But again, I under, but he had to make a statement. I understand him being frustrated, but the man just came off a little bit selfish. But again, I'm not gonna. Throw dirt on the man, throw gravel on the man, like everybody. And I've seen all on Twitter calling. I've seen, I've seen people call this his worst moment as a basketball player, like all things like that. Right? This is his shining, defining moment. I'm not going that far. It's not that. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I do Slow see, down. I do see an article that says that reportedly the league, you know, reportedly that the um, um that LeBron James questioned Adam Silver over the lack of punishment for. So I personally feel like this is LeBron, pun LeBron James punishing at, uh Daryl Morey. 
for this, and he deserves what he deserves all the bad press he gets for it. Because it's one thing for you to say, "Yo, y'all should punish him," but it's not your place to punish him for that. I'm sorry, it's not. I think he was it's not his to place to punish him. him for it. It's not his place to interject but into him saying, this I don't political get into situation. Listen, him saying, "I don't want to get into a war to war with Darren Moore," you're saying like it's not so much. It's not. I'm not. I'm not trying to punish him. I just think that you directly inconvenience me. And it's like, yo, I wish mm, yeah, I have no issue yeah, with you and, saying And guess this. what? If any white GM or white owner, white player, white trainer, white assistant, white anything would have came out in a statement, in a press conference, after LeBron James had wore them hoodies on the court, them Trayvon or the I Can't Breathe shirts on the court or during at any point in time, and a, and a, and a white person would have came out and be like, yo, LeBron is inconveniencing our team by doing this. He knows what we have to go through. Everybody in black America and in liberal America will be trying to fucking take that white guy's head off. So I don't want to hear that. LeBron, that. you But you have a side of people who also you know it's, it's hypocritical. This is, but listen, this it's, is it's, it's, listen, it's supreme you just, hypocrisy. You just, that is what it is. You, it is supreme hypocrisy. You 100% just explain what I said that he comes off a little selfish when he said that. No, not a little saying. selfish. He comes off extremely selfish and extremely hypocritical and when he did not have to say anything. He had to say something. He, di- he did he not. No, he did not. He had to no, say he didn't. He had to say That's something. The, I, that, I disagree something. with that. He, he did not to have something. to say anything. He had to say something. He had to, he, 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 no, no, no. He didn't have to say anything. And he's also punishing Daryl Moore, like I said, because you know Daryl Moore ain't Darryl saying Darryl Moore. shit else and he ain't tweeting no more, period. As long as he is a GM, period. I think he punished Daryl Moore. He, oh, yes, he's not he punishing Daryl Moore. Yes, yes, he is. I can see. If you don't think that's a one fat ass slap on the wrist to Daryl Moore, no. that, that, that's a motherfucking that's pulling that. That's a that's a supreme. I think Daryl Moore. Let me like, go get that motherfucking switch off the tree, and we, I'm gonna beat your ass with uh, it, whipping. That's think, what that was. That was a that was a press conference version of an ass whooping. No, I think Daryl Moore's mouth is gonna be somewhat muzzled, regardless. And again, also, I just think that he's again. I understand LeBron's frustrations mm. with Daryl saying that when I gotta go over to China. Why would you do that to me, bro? Why would you do that to me? I have no issue with the cause. I have an issue with you saying that when you said it. Why would you do that to me? But again, in saying it, do that to me and us. But again, in you like AD could have like granted this is this also sounds selfish. AD could have told his thumb. He gotta wait till he get back to America to have an MRI. And. He was still you have to wait to America to get back to him. I don't know about that. If you if you if you if you, if you have a better relation, who knows? I just think that again, you come off extremely selfish when you say what you said. You come off selfish, and he came off selfish. But again, I'm not gonna throw dirt on the man, throw gravel on the man, do all of that for saying what he said. But I do 100 think he came off a bit selfish, and he got to fall on the sword for that. I'm just waiting for Trump to let the hammer fly. I'm not even gonna lie. It's it's gonna. It's, Trump gonna say what he's gonna say. It's gonna be biblical. It's, it's too. I don't know what he's gonna say, but it's gonna be fucking hilarious. But, anyways, man. Um, let's go ahead. Let's talk some NFL news, man. The most surprising team in the NFL to me has been the Buffalo Bills. I don't know how. I'm I'm I legit. I have no idea how. But these dudes are on pace. Currently, to make the playoffs, they currently have the fifth seed in the um, in, in the whole AFC. They're four and one, I'm sorry, they're four and one right now, um, and I'm just genuinely surprised that the Bills have been as good as they have been. To be quite honest, like even just looking at this team, I I thought they were going to win like six games the whole year. I don't. They definitely not winning six games no more. I mean, I mean in total, they gonna win more than two more games this year. And even looking at the Browns, man, I thought my man Baker, man, they called my man Sober Johnny Manziel. It's looking bad out here, two and four. And Jimmy Garoppolo. If you're the Patriots, right, Patriots had Jimmy G. Belichick was kind of trying to push Brady out the door for Jimmy G. Brady went to Kraft. Kraft was like, hey, you chill. That's my boy. He can stay as long as he want. And then they was like, Jimmy G, you got to fucking go. And they got Jimmy G out of here. But I saw a report that said that the 49ers are 11 and 2 in games Jimmy Garoppolo started. I mean, yeah, but, but people not, telling me that I mean, people keep tweeting that he trash or they not, making jokes about him. I mean, like, no, nah, like, he's imagine not, what he would be on the Patriots. Nah, we like, saw what Matt Castle was with the Patriots. No, nah, but again, like, this is where people come to say, but then not, not even going back to people saying Tom Brady is a system quarterback. People, like, people, people, people honestly talk about Tom Brady the way a lot of us talk about Steph Curry. 
Like, oh, he wouldn't do this and like another. Uh, he he wouldn't do what he's doing somewhere else. I mean, Tom Brady. The, a lot of people say Tom Brady the goat, though. A lot don't. A lot of people you, don't say Steph Curry. He, the goat. Yeah, Steph Curry's not the goat. Yes, but that's he's like the, he's top ten, but he ain't the goat. See, you see, you say he top ten. I don't say he top ten. I say he top twenty five. Well, he's top I twelve. Know I got a top twelve. I got a top twelve. He's top twelve. He's top twelve. I I like when I would look when I put him on my list. I had him at twenty three. But again, people say the same things about. We gotta redo all But again, people. But again, people say the same things about Brady because of the system. Even you saw Matt Castle come in and win. Games. Matt Castle. Now yeah. you see what he did when he left, but again, people think Matt Castle isn't good. Yeah, people but Jimmy think, G ain't in the system. Listen, people think Tom Brady is good. They just don't think he Tom Brady without the system. People think Jimmy G is good, but when Jimmy G left, you think Jimmy G finna be the next next Steve Young. He don't look that damn good. I mean, he don't he look, look that bad. bad. He don't look bad, but he don't look like he... I mean, he put up 31, 41, 24, 31, 20. I mean, yes, but you think... And the it beat the Rams, the Steelers, can you listen? the Bengals, and the Bucks. But look, you think the man's supposed... But listen, you think the man's supposed to come in and be Pat Mahomes, be, be you know, completely reinvent the quarterback position. He not doing that. He winning football games the way that he winning them. But you think that man's supposed to come in and be the next, the next great thing in San Francisco. Nah, and he not that. He's good, but he not that. He not what people listen to. Now, granted, he still is coming off of ACL. He did say so he's still him getting back in the funk of things. He did say his ACL last year. He coming back. He coming off it. We'll see. But he not reinventing the quarterback position the way I mean, he was. Still, was. seven touchdowns, five interceptions. That's not great. Ninety-five point two rating. That's not great. Eleven hundred yards. That's cool. Sixty-nine point nine completion percentage. Smooth. It's smooth, but you winning. I agree, but he's winning. Not, I want to win. But he's not reinventing the quarterback position. I need position. you to reinvent the quarterback position. I just need you to win. I agree with you. I just need you to win. I agree with you. I just need you to win. But that's why people think he's a game manager. I need you to win. I, I'm, no, no. I look, versus the good teams, if you want to be a game manager and, and help us win, fine. But versus the bad teams, which is when a lot of teams that are supposed to be the best teams, especially in the NFL, you're supposed to beat the bad teams. The Bears lose to teams that they should be beating. That's why Bears fans are always mad at the Bears because it's like, we should have won this game. That's been my whole life as a Bears fan. We should have won this game. They are going out and winning games that they should win and also winning games that they should not win. So if he's going to be a game manager, but we still going to go out there and we're going to get it done, the defense is going to play good, and we play against bad teams, he's going to go out and give me three touchdowns, four touchdowns, I don't care. He coming back off of ACL. I agree with you. I don't want to hear that. If he come back off his ACL, averaging 17, but he's still shooting fucking 45% from the field and, 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 and 38% from the three, I'm not going to be complaining. Good. Great! Great! We we missed it! We needed it! Who they back up quarterback? Do you know? I don't know. Exactly. What's wrong with that? I you. If Jimmy G was on the Patriots, if people say Tom Brady assists a quarterback, he would probably be looking like Tom Brady. See, but that's the thing. That's the thing. So what are we complaining that's about? That's the thing. I feel you. What, what, what are people complaining about? Listen, like, I think, what are they complaining listen, about? Listen, listen. You I should think, be happy that the Niners are what? What? Four and one? Listen, four and one? listen, I think personally, as long as you win football games, you win whatever. Now, you can have your speculation, you, you can have your criticism, but the facts are the facts. I have my speculations and my criticism. If this was 1980, everybody would be very happy. But it's not 1980 no more with the way that, that you see but the quarterback. You, but you're winning games. Though. I agree with that. But you're winning games. With you. That's all I'm saying. But look at me. Look at me. I don't disagree with you, but I do understand why people. I, I like. I think when people have these questions about Jimmy Garoppolo, it's not the fact that the Niners are winning games. It's about the backs are doing, and you see what he's doing. And people don't think that he is at the level of these same other quarterbacks because his numbers aren't what they are. He coming off a torn ACL. I, I feel you. People forget all that. Josh, forget even Josh Allen, Allen, right? Josh Allen for the Bills, not been that great. He's, um, I mean, his, 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 about his, number, his numbers are kind of similar to Jimmy G, though. Jimmy G only got two more touchdowns and, and two less interceptions, and but he got a way, he got a higher rating. And a way higher, uh, I mean, in his, I mean, in his completion percentage is is seven percent more. But like, but bro, look at this line of scene, bro. You got basically you got two running backs, both averaging over five yards a carry. Good. So that means your offensive line is great. I Good. know the fullback who got hurt. Uh, I watched him in that Monday Night Football game. He's a great. He does a lot of things in his offense that you probably wouldn't realize that that like he does. Yeah. He got hurt. You got a good defense. You got a great tight end. So you got a lot of pieces around Jimmy Garoppolo where people, where he doesn't have to do that. Like, he doesn't have to be spectacular to win every night. Good. He's but that's back. why people question what they question All about. All I'm him. saying is Jimmy G critics. If, if it's game 12 and he's still playing the same way, fine. Go ahead. Make your comments about Jimmy G. But it's not going to be game 12 and he's still going to be playing this way. It's four games back off of ACL. He's 11-2 as a San Francisco 49er. What more do you want? 
other than fans in Levi Stadium. Because it's always empty in there. The Bay is not rocking with the Niners since they moved. Nah, I heard that. No, nah, I heard that. From what I've been seeing from like Bay Area Twitter, I heard that. Um, ever since they started winning, fans have been coming back. It's just they weren't winning, so wasn't nobody going to the games. You ain't trying to pay all that money and then drive all the way out there for a team that ain't winning. Yeah. We winning three games. Hell no, I ain't going. We start winning 10, we in that bitch. <laughs> for real. I'm sorry, I feel you. That's hilarious. But any final words about the uh, um, the NFL? Oh, yeah. What do you think about that Lions? I'm sorry, the Lions Packers call? Like, I saw. Um, I mean, I both saw. Both of them. What do you think like, about both of them? I saw calls? people complaining. Yes, they were bad calls, but I understand why they got called. Like, the man had, granted, now the man, like, can, can you can you challenge calls in the NFL? You can't, can you? I don't think you can. Exactly. That's the thing with the, the NBA put in. But, like, you can challenge a foul. Yeah. Like, they say it's a foul, but, like, no, nah, that's not a foul. Yeah. So, since you can't challenge a call, like, the man head flew back. I don't know where the ref on the field. I mean, his hand did hit his face mask, though. Who? The defenders? Yeah, they're saying that it should have been, that, that the penalty should have been the other way. The first one, fine. But the second one, it literally didn't touch it. But it's like, when you look at it, from across, it's like calling a travel, like with Harden. It's like, yeah, if you slow it down to slow motion with different angles, it's a travel. If we watching it on the court live, you can't fucking tell, bro. Like, how do I know? Like, the man's head flew back like this. It looks like you push your hand to the man's face, especially when his head is, like, back like this. Yeah. That's how it looks. And that's not what made you lose a football game. Like, the last one they called, it was already at the 20-yard line. Even even if the man gets sacked, you probably drop back to what the thirty. He says he make the field goal, you still might lose. That ain't why you lost that football game. Yeah. The, like true. the refs never lose you a football game. You lost that football game. I'm not upset. At even that. the other call when they're like the uh, fourth and three. I think they still they, they excuse me. I, I think they still scored after that. They had to drive forty more yards, bro. You could have done something in the forty yards to figure this out. Yeah. That's not the ref. That's you. You lost that football game. Not granted, the calls were bad. But you lost that football game. Yeah, true. I'm not upset at it. What do you think about the Seahawks? Russell Wilson has still been lighting it up, blazing it up. They won three in a row. Um, he's the Rams are. I mean, what last year's Super Bowl contender? Um, three and three right now. Some pretty bad losses. The Chargers traded Marcus Peters today. Huh? Oh, they did. Yeah, traded him to Bob. Bob. Wow, I didn't even know that. Damn, that's crazy. What do you think about that? Great. I'm, I can't tell you. I know how good or bad Marcus Peters has been. Yeah. I've seen them getting cooked a lot recently, in my humble opinion. I've seen that man getting a lot of touchdowns scored yeah. on him, in my humble opinion. Um, but I can't say I watch the uh, Rams in and out every day to you know know yeah. exactly how good he is. But um, I know they've lost a couple close games, like games that could have really went either way. Um, but as far as Russell Wilson, I think it's just his time to shine. Like you look at you know the first – Way with the Seahawks reign. Like, I remember when Russell Wilson was at uh, um, NC State and then went to Wisconsin. Like, I yeah. remember Russ from, because I was still watching college football. Yeah. So, I remember Russ from then. I think it just hits time to shine. Like, he's been kind of groomed. And, and, I mean, you you know, at first, like, the defense and Marshawn Lynch was a spotlight. Yeah. He just had to come in and manage the game. And I think now he's grown enough and he's at the place where he can go out there and win football games for him. Yeah. And I think that if you look at that MVP vote, I think Russ got to be somewhere in the top five right now. If you're thinking about he's it, he's got 14 touchdowns, no interceptions. He uh, might be the 124.7 rating, 1,700 yards, 72.5 completion percentage. And the other day, um, you know, he said that his headset went out, uh, so he couldn't hear, you know, the call. So he called, uh, he play called the whole um, game winning drive that they went on the other day. Um, and also, Russell Wilson this year has rushed for 151 yards. And there you go. Yeah. Yeah, it's not there bad. I mean, I mean, hey. Yeah. He the MVP right now. There you go. Yeah. In my opinion. He, he is. I'm not saying that. The man ain't going to interception. Yeah, and 14 touchdowns. Are you not, so, there you go. Yeah, I'm not upset at that. Because even, I mean, even if you look at him, I mean, well, Mahomes has only thrown one interception. Yeah, but Mahomes, yeah, but they've been telling off the last couple of weeks, though. Yeah, they, they have. Ain't, they ain't, but what, they lost two straight, right? Yes, the Chiefs yeah, have lost two winning. straight. Yeah, yeah see, they ain't yeah, they're four and two right now. Winning. Yeah. Two weeks ago, you asked me Mahomes running away with it. But ever since, like, didn't Mahomes like, sprain his ankle? Uh, I think he did, yeah. He twisted it a little bit. Yeah, like ever since my whole sprain that ankle. Was, yeah. yeah, I mean, the Russ is second in the league in touchdowns, um, only to Matt Ryan, but Matt Ryan has seven interceptions. Yeah. And <coughs> also, people got this theory. Russ might be the MVP. And yeah. Also, and also, people got this theory that people finally figured out Kansas City again. I haven't watched them every yeah. single day, yeah. so I can't say. Yeah. But <coughs> I do know from just even years and years and years of watching sports in general, people catch up. Yeah. No matter. Uh, remember the Wildcat when it first came out? Yeah. 
Nobody I mean, can stop it. Somebody still. I mean, um, <coughs> aren't the what team is still running some of the Wildcats? Um, I think the Ravens still run some of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it was yeah, like, but yeah. the like phenomenon. Yeah, I remember that you being, it, was, it was like you it was, get like twenty Wildcat players. Wildcat again, players like, again. Home, nobody bro. knew what to do. So people figure out like after a while and just think Mahomes is going through that right now. Yeah, and I, he's also hurt, so I can't like say that they're just figuring out so much as as, as he just hurt. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I think. I, I think the Eagles are a team that's really surprising me because everybody thought that the Eagles was going to be like lighting it up. It just so happened that the division that they in is terrible. Why is the NF? Why is the NFC East always bad? Cowboys three and three, Eagles three and three, Giants two and four, Redskins one and five. Why are they always bad? I don't get it. The Cowboys have lost three straight. Don't make sense. It don't make no goddamn sense. It really don't make no sense. It makes absolutely no sense. Why the Cowboys are so bad. And, and somebody said the Chiefs are living that Andy Reid uh, trap. I mean, hey, I'm not surprised at that. I'm not surprised at I mean, that. Either. I also think with um, you know, um, what you said about that, um, so I think it could be hard to get people to those markets. Yeah. Like, which one of those teams? Like, the Redskins have been shit for a decade. Yeah, the everybody Cowboys, keeps saying that they the need to part, get rid of the owner. Or they need to give Mike Tomlin complete control of the team, which Mike Tomlin. Mike might, Tomlin. Yeah, Mike Tomlin. They're saying that. The Redskins? Yeah. I mean, no. People are saying that they think that Mike Tomlin should leave Pittsburgh and go oh, to the, the Redskins. Redskins. Yeah. yeah, like the Redskins have been shit for however long. Um, you have the Cowboys who have been exactly a model of a great organization yeah. since, since you know, the 90s. The Giants have had, like, runs here and there, but they still ain't been, like, a great franchise. Again, they just caught the Holy Ghost a couple yeah. of times. And then you have what the Eagles. I mean, they won a Super Bowl two years ago, but that was kind of random. Yeah. Like they they wouldn't been there. so they none of them have have like you know Pittsburgh been consistently good fifteen years. I mean Pittsburgh ain't good no more. I mean, but for the first, I mean, but since you know, yeah. since for for like the, the since the new decade, yeah, Pittsburgh has been yeah, a, and yeah, also man. a stable franchise. Like you got three coaches, so you yeah, got a stable, true. you have a stable foundation. The Patriots, stable foundation. Um. Who else? Uh, in the league, Seahawks for a reason. Like stable, yeah. stable foundation. You have teams that's been stable foundations in that division. Who? Yeah. Even like the Saints have been more of a stable foundation than most teams in that franchise. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean yeah, the Saints. Even, I mean, ever since ever since Sean Payton arrived in uh, in New Orleans, yeah. they've been even more stable. You know? saying, fire Dan Quinn. Yes, I agree. They do need to trade uh, Matt Ryan and fire Dan Quinn. I think Dan Quinn is kind of. Ever since that Super Bowl year, he kind of has number one worn out his welcome in Atlanta, but also number two, just hasn't been as as great as I think they need him to be. Um, and I think Matt Ryan, Matty Ice is, I just think he just needs a new setting to be honest. Like I, I just, I just think it's time for a new setting. I mean, Julio is still a beast, obviously, so you're not gonna get rid of Julio. But I would try to see if I can flip him for somebody, you know, or 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 if or if we continue to lose the way that they've been losing. Um, I mean. They're one and five right now. If you can, if you can happen to get into that top ten, maybe you draft a quarterback and try to trade him in the offseason. But I don't think he's the issue. I but the Falcons, I think they, I think it's it's gonna be bad for them. I don't think he's the issue, personally. Sorry, Falcons fans. And also, ooh, oh no, I told him the Hawks. He said the Hawks are gonna win thirty games. And the Hawks not winning thirty yeah, games, by the way. Games. I told I told Keith on Twitter. I'm like, he games. like, I think he, I think we made a bet on it. We like I think they're I told him I give him a, a hoodie if if they won thirty games. They're gonna be a great, amazing basketball team to watch, but they're gonna yeah, win twenty five games. Yeah, exactly. But all right, any final words?